Cabazantinib has been approved in Europe and is now reimbursed in many countries in second line setting or more in, for patients who have failed prior VGF inhibition. It is a potent VGFR TKI. So we are familiar with the, um, uh, let's say, safety with this agent. Uh, and we have to handle that as we would for any potent VGFR TKI. We have to be careful about uh, blood pressure management and uh, prescribe at the right drug in case of hypertension, high blood pressure. We have to be careful about the hand foot syndrome, but this is something we're familiar with. Uh, we have to be careful about diarrhea, fatigue, but all those side effects we are quite familiar with already. The only thing is that this drug does require some dose reduction. In the pivotal study, for instance, it was almost two patients out of three that required a dose reduction because of safety. Nevertheless, it is a potent, very active VGF for TKI, and we're happy to offer this agent to our patient given its efficacy in terms of response rate, progression-free survival, and overall survival.